Previously on Rolina. Rolina is practicing her javelin throw. Rolina decides to pay tribute to her god, Rogar. Rolina finds the one-eyed lion. Having no choice, the lion runs off the cliff. She notices three baby lion cubs. <laughs> Unable to leave the cubs helpless, Rolina decides to make pumpkin soup for the cubs. In the middle of the night, some wolves come looking for food. Uh-oh. To get rid of the wolf, Rolina throws a pumpkin one meter from the ground at an angle of 30 degrees with a velocity of 15 meters per second. The pumpkin takes 1.62 seconds to hit the ground. Calculate the displacement x, the speed at the maximum height, the speed when the pumpkin hits the ground. And we also know it's going to be taking time of 1.62 seconds. Okay. Knowing all of that, we're trying to find what the displacement is in the x direction. So how far this moves in the horizontal direction. So let's see everything that we know for this problem. What we know is in the x and the y. Acceleration to x equals zero. Acceleration to y equals negative 10 meters per second squared. We know that this pumpkin is going to eventually be falling down one meter from where it started. So displacement in the y is equal to negative one meters. What we also know is it's going to be taking 1.62 seconds for it to hit the ground. So we know one 0.62 seconds and that's for both the x and y the only thing that's the same for both is the time so this is where it gets a little bit different with angled problems when something is thrown at an angle what we need to do is we need to break it up into its x and y components so we need to find what the velocity is in the y direction that it was thrown with and the velocity in the x and when we're looking for the opposite uh, that's going to be sine, so this is going to be 15 times sine of 30. And for the x, since this is adjacent, this is going to be 15 times cosine of 30. So, let's put this into our calculators. 15 times cosine of 30, we get 12.99 meters per second. 15 times sine of 30, and this is going to be 7.5 meters per second. So we can also put that here. Velocity initial in the y is going to equal 7.5 meters per second and velocity initial in the x is going to equal 12.99 meters per second. So now what we have is we have three pieces of information in the x and we're looking for the displacement so we have all that we need. Look at our formula sheet and we see that this formula here has all four of the variables that we need. So displacement in the x equals vxt plus one half axt squared. Displacement in the x is what we're looking for. Vx is equal to 12.99. Time is 1.62. And all of this turns to zero because acceleration is zero. Put this into our calculators. And we get that displacement is 21.04 meters. Okay, so that's how far that the pumpkins get thrown. So pretty, she has a, Rolina has a pretty good arm. Next, what is the speed at the maximum height? So this gets thrown, the maximum height, let's say is around here. So this is where it gets a little bit interesting. What we should know is, I'm gonna do this in the, in the Y direction. Uh, the pumpkin is gonna be slowing down as it goes up. And as it goes down, it's gonna be speeding up. But in the x direction, remember there is no acceleration in the x direction. So what that means is the velocity is gonna be constant. So the velocity is always gonna be the same throughout the whole thing in the x direction. So if at the very top, the velocity in the y direction is zero, that means the velocity in the x direction is the only velocity at the very top. So what is the speed at the maximum height? The velocity in the y is zero, but the velocity in the x is 12.99 uh, meters per second. So the speed at the top is 12.99 meters per second. 
what is the speed when the pumpkin hits the ground right here? So we know the X, the X is always the same. It's gonna be 12.99 meters per second. But we don't know what the velocity is in the Y direction, the final velocity in the Y direction. So we have to find what that is. So we're gonna look for this and we have a few formulas that we can use to find what this V final is, but I'm gonna just use this top one right here. So we have acceleration equals V final Y or minus V initial Y over T. Acceleration is negative 10. V final is what we're looking for. V initial is 7.5 and the time is 1.62. Put this over to the other side. Negative 16.2 is equal to V final Y minus 7.5. And we get V final Y as negative 8.7 meters per second. So we found what the final velocity in the Y is. It's 8.7 meters per second, a negative. And we know the final velocity in the X, which is 12.99. Now we have to combine both of these. So we have 12.99 and 8.7. And the final speed it hits the ground is gonna be the combination of both of these. So we're gonna use Pythagorean theorem to figure this out. So the speed is gonna be equal to 12.99 squared plus 8.7 squared and the square root of that. And this is gonna give us 15.63 meters per second. Okay. But the real question is, what did the wolves do after this? The wolves devour the pumpkins and seem to be satisfied with the offering and start to leave. Interesting. Let's see if maybe anything happens after this. All right. Thank you, guys.